Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. So we've come away from the bay, we're no longer chipping, we're, we have a plan. I'm not, I'm not, I've got nearly said we're sorted, but we're, we've got a plan, we're on our way. Um, and we're gonna talk about some, some sort of putting drills, some mm -hmm. things that we're still a few months away from really our season. Um, yeah. The majority of my practice leading into the season is probably gonna be here on, on the, the mat here. So let's let's talk about the way you've designed. This is this is your sort of Rafluski tour putting mat, loaded with drills that, that people can do and not to not just be bored practicing hitting putts to a certain distance. Okay, let's let's run through your your key core favorite drills on the mat. Perfect. Well, the first thing I'd love to do is uh, just calibrate your eyes, kind of look at where you're aiming, what you're kind of seeing, because training for putting and especially training for your eyes, you need to calibrate your eyes in a way that allows your brain to absorb the information and then your body to respond. Okay, well, I'm curious. I'm, I'm dying to get into this. All right, so what we'll do is we'll line you up on the first dot. Okay. So we can put a ball right, right there for you. So what we're going to do is we're just going to test and see how you see things. Yeah. Now, when you look up, you look up through the first little dot, mm -hmm. second dot, third dot, and then to the hole. Yeah. What we're trying to see is, is there any biases in the way you either perceive the putt here mm -hmm. or the way you look up? There's two things. So right. does, do these all look straight to you? Does any of them look a little off? They look pretty good. They look pretty good. Yep. Look good. good now, why don't you just move a little bit further away? How do they look now? <laughs> Out to the right. Yeah. So they changed quite a bit. Yeah. So the distance you are away from the golf ball will play a big part. And if you went even closer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, very, very much to the left there. Yeah. And is there any pattern for, for what you see? Do people tend to do one thing more than another? What, what should people be aware of the most with that? No, there's actually three things that actually cause this issue. Right. So the first thing is distance away from the ball. We've got to figure out what yep. our distance is away from the ball mm -hmm. that allows us to see. So now, you don't need to have the mat, obviously, guys. You, you can have some tees down here. Sure. You can have dots. I have I have these little things the that, I, that I use on the golf course, yep. and they're just little discs, and, and I put a little string line down, and I throw them down. And it's just getting into a routine that mm. allows you to do a good drill that's going to have some long-term benefits to it. Love that. So that's the first thing. Now, the second thing, if you'll turn around and put your back towards the camera mm -hmm. and get into your posture for me, one of the things that, we, that we'll notice here is that we want from, from the tailbone to the neckline, we want that, if I draw a line straight down, we want that to be kind of the middle of the body. Mm -hmm. But what we often see with players is head tilt yep. in a different direction, yep. or sometimes a little bit this way. Mm -hmm. So come on head back and grab onto the dots and move your head the way I had moved it there and just tell me, get into your same posture, the one you thought originally was perfect. Make sure you look up and see that the dot line is, is yep. kind of where you want it. Now just tilt your head the way I had kind of moved it there and tell me what you see. Yeah, <laughs> it really changes your perspective. Yeah. yeah. So that's, that's, and that's when you're doing the eye line, the, the glasses, you're kind of finding the sweet spot with the neck and the distance and exactly. everything. So basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to make you biomechanically mm. sound and straight. Yeah. You're not like, I don't walk around like this here, you know? You know, so my head's on straight, my eyes are in the mm. right position. I'm looking out of the middle of my eyes. Mm. And that's the third thing. The middle of your eyes is the next thing. So set up again for me. Okay. We've got the right position. We've got the head in the right position. Now just raise your head up a little higher, even higher than that. Now what we'll often see is players will have their head up. I'll just put it just where I need it there. Mm. Now, when you look up now, what do you see? When you look up through the dots? I see them very much in the, in the left side there for me. Yeah. yeah. So a lot of people do this here. So what they do is that if I was actually talking to you, I'm looking out of the middle of my eye socket. Mm -hmm. For you to look out the ball, your eyes have to be looking straight looking out of the down, bottom. Yeah, yeah. So now as your head rotates, as you lift your head to rotate, you rotate on an angle mm -hmm. and everything else gets distorted. Yeah. So getting your head into that position where it's down. So you're a good student because you've got your head in the right spot. Now if we went too far down, mm -hmm. we'll try and figure out if that's helpful or not. <laughs> Everything now moved out, yeah. out that yeah. way for me. So, so it shifted on you there. Yeah. Interesting. So, so tilts, turns, distance, 
Those are your three Those main your three keys things. to allow you to be in the right position. And then you just calibrate it. Yeah. Like I said, I walk up every day, I walk past it and I just stand up mm -hmm. and I look down it and then I'm like, oh. and I, for me, I'm always just, I always just creep a little bit too close and my head always just creeps a little bit up. up. So I have to, mm -hmm. I keep my height. I don't want to be like yep. crunching down. Mm -hmm. I keep my height and I just let my head fall. So now when my head rotates, it rotates on one axis. Yep and then I'm able to see the light. Mm. And that's what happens on those days when you get out there and you're out and you look up and you're like, oh yeah. And yeah. you just know you're yeah. gonna make it. Yeah. It's just, you've calibrated everything in that way and you've just woken up on the right side of the bed. But imagine <laughs> you could wake up on the right side of the bed every day. More often. Yeah. Drill two. All right. So let's set up on this little T-bar. So a lot of times we just don't know where our club face is. Yeah. You know? And when we're setting up here, you know, one of the things that if you do, if you do have one, a laser, a laser. like this is a, is a, is an amazing thing. But sometimes we're just we're not lucky to have something like that. Yeah. So what we'll do, a little ruler. Mm -hmm. Just put it down on the green. Find a target. Use a string line. Throw it down, yep. and just get a little marker, and just mark it a couple of times. Mm -hmm. Take it away. Now, when you set up for me, you're going to set up nicely on that, and that's going to allow you to make sure that you're square. Square and also that you've got the center of that putter lined up with the center of that ball, because I can see with that white line <laughs> that that's exactly running through the, the where that black line on the T is, and that's one major thing I see in, in putter fitting. Yeah. I see this all the time, out the toe, and then we see the, the, the kind of face angles delivered nicely, but the deflection is causing that ball to head out to the right. 100%. That's, that's a fantastic yeah. little tool. So, Good, good you picked up on that there because that's exactly what we're supposed to do. Get the ball in the middle of the club face with the face square. But also, what does it look like? You know, yeah. would, you, would, you, would you even recognize it? A degree, two degrees. Yeah. I, I don't think people, you know, if they have no reference point on that green, you just don't know. Honestly, I've seen people five, six, seven, eight degrees offline. Absolutely. And they have no clue that they're doing yeah. that there. Yeah. So something like this, again, a ruler, just mark it on the green, mm -hmm. put it down, allow you to square yourself to a target. Because yep. you have to have a target in mind, because sure. you can't just put something down. That's giving you that reference point. Mm. Now, this is the same distance and width, but just slightly bigger than the ruler that I designed, because yep. I wanted some feedback for from hitting putts. So now I know 100% I'm square. Mm -hmm. So if my ball doesn't go down this here track, mm -hmm. I know that I have something mechanical within my stroke yep. that's not quite right. Right. You know and, and, and putting, yeah, let's definitely do that. And, and with putting, the face angle, the value of the face angle is magnified so high because we've so little loft. So if we've got any of those little one or two degrees can send us off track so quickly, can't it? Massive. Yeah. And you know, the thing is, is that when you're off one or two degrees, even at a dress, mm -hmm. the body starts to compensate sure. in ways and you start to get a whole bunch of things. So I'm just yeah. gonna, you don't even have to hit it the full length here, but what we're looking for is just to hit a couple of putts and let's see how well you can start it online. Okay. Okay. So it's giving you the feedback. You see a tiny bit left there. I, yeah, so I can, I can, and I can. I'm kind of playing with the face a little bit, and I've been struggling a little bit with start line recently. Yeah. Lots of left putts, so I'm, I'm gonna get some really good feedback on setup, release. Very good. Okay, pretty good. But one of the things that that I do pick up and that I notice here is just forearm alignment. So go yep. ahead and set up for me. Mm -hmm. If we just look at this forearm alignment, it's it's just a tad on the on the left side. Yeah. So we'll just get that a little more. Bang on. So it doesn't seem like much, but it's enough yeah. to throw off. So we know from alignment standpoint that you're bang on. Mm -hmm. These discs are designed, they've got a, a little hole in them. Mm -hmm. um, and they're designed to capture the ball at optimal speed. Yep. So optimal speed for me is about a foot past. Mm -hmm. So if the ball travels at eight inches or eight inches past the hole, 
it will just fall in seven inches it'll roll back interesting if it's 18 inches past the hole it'll just roll right over the top okay so you've got a good a good window of distance there yeah you've got a built-in 10 inch tolerance for accepting the ball yeah That's so great. i wanted the ball to go in and hit it and know that mm -hmm. hey i delivered that ball with good speed yeah you know so something that you could have at home some feedback that's a brilliant you know brilliant so, little so as well. really simple bingo mm. so you get that nice feedback now what we do is you move you forward yeah move you forward a touch just so you don't have any reference beautiful yeah that's great so it's kind of taking you through a whole series of different things mm -hmm. and then the last thing that we're trying to figure out is how could we develop something that's going to allow you to have good speed mm -hmm. so i'll show you an exercise that i like we're going to start off and try and get you into one two three four and five right and then what we would do is we would try to get you we're not going to take you through the whole thing but let you hit a couple of putts mm -hmm. we'll go five four three two one so we'll incrementally make you go forward mm -hmm. and incrementally make you go back how many times have you been out in the golf course yeah. and you're like boy if i could just get the ball another foot mm -hmm. another foot or if i could boy i'm a little too fast today mm -hmm. if i just want to pull a little bit off so being able to move forward and backwards on command allows us to be able to manage our speed when we're on the golf course do your players kind of set these games up with maybe little tee pegs or yeah. something like that it's exactly yeah. yeah yeah just just something actually we we it's basically an advanced ladder drill yeah so if you think of the ladder mm -hmm. we're just trying to go in steps yep. just trying to get the ball to go a little bit further past and then a little bit further back yep. this is just something you can do at home okay guys hopefully that's something that, that you know this has given you some food for thought as to you know how we can apply some really co high quality practice time that's one thing i don't really think many people do spend high quality practice time three golf balls put it down put to a hole off we go you know there's there's not really too much that we're learning other than just getting a, a couple of putts going that day so um this is some high quality practice so uh this is this is something that's staying here yeah i'm pretty happy this with is it. here <laughs> <laughs> excellent okay guys thanks so much for joining us we will see you again soon